Next question is from Sarah Stone. How do you go about training and nutrition for women who are missing their period and are trying to get it back? Do you have to be more careful with those who have suffered eating disorders in the past? Be- because due to the, the both questions, I'm going to assume that the reason why this person is missing their period is probably because they're too lean mm-hmm. and they're overtraining, they're overworking. Now, there's lots of reasons why a woman could lose their period, um, and you know this is something that you'd want to work with a medical pro- professional over. Now, in, in the fitness space, oftentimes we see this in women who are getting their bodies too lean. If you get too lean, your body uh, doesn't want to be fertile, so you'll lose your period. If you work out too hard too often, the same thing will happen. Your body will start to not want to be fertile, um, and you'll lose your period. In those cases, increasing calories, not being too low in proteins, fats, or carbs. So you don't want to be low in any of them. You want to bump your calories. You want to focus on recovery uh, type movements. You want to get good sleep. And the type of exercise you should focus on is traditional strength training um, and be very careful of overworking. And it can take time. If you do that uh, over time, you'll start to, you'll, you'll gain a little bit of body fat. You'll gain a little bit of muscle, a little bit of strength because you're eating extra calories your body now feels like it's a good environment to be fertile, um, and you'll start to see your period uh, come back. And and with the women that I've worked with in this situation, it works like clockwork. But it can take a while. It's taken as it's for some clients. You know, I remember one girl in particular. It took us about five months. It was five months of this, and she was somebody who had gone through extreme dieting over and over again. She did have a past of an eating disorder, but she was working with a therapist. And so when she came to see me. Uh, me and her therapist together worked together, and I did put her on a nutrition plan that had her bumping her calories slowly, so it's like a reverse diet. I had her eat more fats. In this particular case, she was eating too low a fat, and she only trained with me twice a week. We did two days a week, full mm-hmm. body workouts, um, four or five exercises in each workout. Mm-hmm. You know these these barbell movements like squats and deadlifts and overhead presses and you know, you know, one and a half to two minute rest in between sets. And after about five months of doing this, her period came back and she hadn't had it for a couple of years. Yeah, I think this is definitely a client that you have to be extra careful. And a generic prescription would look very similar to what Sal said. I would have, I would say two to three times a week, three times being max the amount of times we're lifting. We're probably training at a 60 to 80% uh, intensity, so we're not going he- hella hard. I'm uh, eliminating any sort of cardio that she may be doing, and we're going to do walking uh, instead of any sort of uh, intense cardio. The major focus is getting all the macronutrients, so not doing anything where we're eliminating a carb or eliminating protein or limiting fats. We're doing a more balanced way of eating. My goal is to slowly increase her calories. Can I manipulate her training program, manipulate the, how much steps and movement she's doing to cancel out the increase in calories? But the ultimate goal is I'm trying to get this this lady to eat more food uh, and a balanced meal plan, limit stress, focus on sleep. Uh, that's really what it looks like. And it, mm-hmm. it you know, to Sal's point, um, it could be something that turns around pretty quick. I've been able to take someone like this and literally turn it around in less than a month's time. And then I've also had some people it's taken six months to yeah. a year. So it just depends on how mu- how much they've been hammering their body for how long, uh, for how long it takes to recover. Yeah. yeah, and it's hard too because it's, I mean, this is definitely a psychological uh, a, a barrier that, you know, you have to kind of really like gradually work your way through and lots of conversations in between to get them in the headspace that it's okay to do less, you, you know, and like it, a lot of times, I, like if, if it's a client like this, um, it's, it tends to be sort of that, that person that wants to do extra and wants to do a lot more cardio and wants to, uh, you know, make sure that, uh, you know, this, this body fat isn't going to come back no matter what. And, uh, and so it's just really trying to, to kind of bring them back to what's the most healthy approach for their body, getting strength back, you know, focusing more on the metrics of what we're doing in the gym, other attributes, you know, sleep, all these types of things. And then, you know, adjusting the nutrition accordingly and just slowly bumping those calories yeah. back. Up. Yeah. And sometimes you just got to gain body fat sometimes. I mean, sometimes you, you know, do. you're walking around at 15, 16% body oh, that's fat. That's a good point. As a female, sometimes it's like, okay, we got to get you in the, in the 20, right. in the 20% in range. range. Yeah. The low twenties, 20, 21, 22. Let's just get your body fat percentage up in a healthy way. And then poof, like magic, you know, they get their period back. 